colloid cysts of the third ventricle are a benign epithelial lined cyst which characteristically have certain imaging features although usually asymptomatic they can rarely present with acute and profound hydrocephalus classically these cysts are identified as a well delineated hyperattenuated masses on non-enhanced CT scan on MRI they are usually hyperintense on T1 and isointense on T2 to the brain peripheral rim enhancement may be present in some cases this male patient 35 years old came with recurrent migraine and vertigo for investigation on MRI we found a solitary oval well-defined cystic lesion about 2 cm in diameter attached to the superior to the antero superior portion of the roof of the third ventricle adjacent to the foramen of Monroe. it showed mainly low signal intensity in t1 weighted image hyper intensity in t2 weighted images and the flare images with no restriction in diffusion weighted images after contrast injection the lesion exhibited a thin rim of peripheral enhancement yet a small rounded t2 hyper intense and t2 signal void area small one is observed within the inferior posterior aspect of the lesion. After contrast injection, it showed appreciable enhancement. Moderate dilatation of the lateral ventricle with a surrounding thin hyper intense zone of edema are seen at T2 and the flare images due to diffusion from the ventricles suggesting acute hydrocephalus. The third and fourth ventricles are not dilated. So the picture is embracive of colloid cyst of the third ventricle with intralesional hemorrhage resulting in a non-communicating hydrocephalus likely of acute onset mind you that intratumoral hemorrhage should be regarded as an exceptional cause of sudden deterioration in previously asymptomatic lesion here is the rim enhancement and this is the hemorrhage inside the lesion and this is the dilatation of the ventricle and the site of the lesion is at the foramen of Monroe which is the communication between the lateral and the third ventricle